yeah. What's up, guys? It is Thursday morning, and we are sitting here in front of this house uh, right here. We're supposed to, there's a huge pile of stuff back there. We're supposed to be getting loaded up and uh, taking it off to another dump site down here and dumping it. But uh, my current situation right now, guys, I drive a dump truck. I've uh, been driving a dump truck now for, I don't know, for a couple years. Well, oh yeah, going on almost two years. Uh, me and Chase had bought a truck, and uh, that really didn't work out. Uh, you know, just being gone from the house and, you know, kids missing me and all this stuff. Wife missing me, wanting me back home. So I came back home. And we gave up lawn care to do the trucking thing. We sold off everything to buy the truck, uh, you know, including some personal items, uh, you know, motorcycles, uh, four wheeler, uh, a truck, my truck, my F-150, the whole setup, trailer, mowers, everything that we had that you guys originally seen in the original, all the uh, original lawn care videos. And, uh, you know, all that stuff was sold off so we could buy the the Peterbilt. Went and did that for a little bit. And, you know, me and the wife was sitting together one night. The money was really good. and uh, But we were sitting together one night, kind of, you know, we decided that, you know, maybe at this point in my life with how young my daughters are and everything it's probably not a good idea to to be gone all the time and not be in my my little girl's lives so uh fast forward about eight months uh decided not to do it anymore so we got rid of the peat got rid of everything and i drive a dump truck uh yeah a tri-axle dump truck basically what he's sitting in he's in a mac i'm in a kw but uh so yeah that's what i've been doing for the past year and a half i know a lot of you guys probably wonder you know we'll just say year and a half i i don't know i mean I, I'm, I'm gonna say we're right at two years but uh so that's what i've been doing i know a lot of you guys wonder what i do for a living and uh you know that's what's been going on now don't think for a second that lawn care has not been on my mind the entire time especially since I've been in these uh, last year kind of played around with the idea about getting back into it but then kind of thought you know maybe I maybe I should just you know work here and, and just you know just go through the paces of things and so that's what I did all last year and you know it's it's been kind of rough it really has there's a reason why I got into lawn care and that was to work for myself I got out of lawn care to do another venture but that was for ourselves uh, so now I'm working for somebody you know we bust out summertime guys we can bust out 70 80 90 hours a week i've done lots of 90 hour weeks and i make really good money but it's time to make some moves so me and my cousin uh decided maybe we should go on ahead and start uh you know getting our money together and start putting a setup together and start chasing some yards so that's what we're going to do. Uh, I'm not going to quit my job. I'm not going to, you know, jump head into it and, and just and try to, you know, scrape along because that's really hard to do. So what I'm going to do is probably kick back to three days, three to four days a week, probably four days starting out. Uh, March, I'll probably kick back to four days here uh, because... I can work here four days a week and still turn 50 to 60 hours a week. So that's probably what I'm going to end up doing. And, uh, you know, try to fill that Friday up and then try to fill a Saturday up. Uh, and then once I fill those two days up, we'll slide them back. I'll kick back three days here. And when we slide those yards back 
it'll be Thursday and Friday yard. So that's that's our current situation, what we're gonna have going on. So basically he's loading this up right here and uh, it's nothing but mud. It's just straight muck. So that's gonna be real fun to, that's gonna be really fun to get dumped out of the bed because my truck doesn't dump dirt too well anyways unless it's, you know, nice dry dirt's fine, but if there's any kind of moisture in it, it doesn't like to slide out of my bed too well. This stuff is muddy, <laughs> super freaking muddy. So I'm waiting here at the entrance of the subdivision and uh, going to just uh, wait wait for the dry, the other driver there. Uh, and we're just going to roll over to the dump site together and try to find it. The thing about uh, the thing about a lot of this stuff working here is you don't get much information about where you're going. So. I have no idea. I might go up here and try to find out from that guy that told us to come down here and get loaded and see if uh, see if maybe we can figure out what we need to do. But according to Kevin, they've not even stopped out yet. They're, they were passing Concord Park, which is the way we came through on North Shore. They were still loaded. Oh, hell. I don't know what's going on then. I, I mean, I'm just sitting here at the entrance where the, at the entrance of the subdivision here. I tried calling the guy on the phone and he won't answer. Hell, I don't even know if we're getting loaded in the right spot. I don't know if these guys are with this guy. <laughs> Definitely got a communication barrier going on there. <laughs> I know, right? What was it from that movie Cool Hand Look? What we have here is failure to communicate. Yeah, and that's definitely happening this morning. got to do what you got to do. That's how it is, guys. Every day, it seems like, uh, you know, you just, you're constantly dealing with that. And, you know, I kind of, I don't get too, uh, I don't really get upset about it. I get paid by the hour. That's how I look at it. Uh, so, I don't care. I can come out here and mess around with these guys all day until they figure out where we want to go or whatever. Hopefully it didn't get bumped directly again. Did uh did you did he tell you where we were going? Well, he gave me an address. Oh, okay, TM4. This is only about like 2.9 miles away. Oh, that ain't bad. Is it off a of Watt Road like that other guy said it was? Uh, no, um. Bills, Bills, Chapel, Chapel Road, some shit, I don't fuck, I don't know. <laughs> I'm just along for the ride. Originally said we were supposed to turn down North Shore, but that's not what my GPS is telling me.
GPS line to me. It said it was 2.9 miles from this gun traveling down this road for 3 miles. Hey, you gotta like them GPSs. You're in a full size semi. You know, some some of these trucks are triaxle, which is what I'm in, and then quads and then quints, which is they have five axles. You know, and they send them down these little, you know, rinky dink little back roads, and really it should be the smaller, you know, uh, mid duty. Uh, dump trucks. Looking at the scenery around here, I'm thinking my GPS is full of shit. <laughs> yeah, well, it ain't, it ain't gotten too crazy too, uh, too crazy yet, so. Uh, so when we start going down them little goat paths is when I start getting worried. <laughs> but, yeah, I mean, but, you know. Should have been out in better with us while you're calling for GC work instead of uh, Townsend. Oh, was that bad? The place that we had to dump was, what the hell was that, a dog? I don't know. A family, a deer. But that's the thing, they send, you know, they send these big trucks into places where, you know, a, a little single axle, mid-duty uh, dump truck should be. Cause you gotta think guys, these these trucks when they're fully when they're lifted and they're fully extended out, the top of that bed's probably a good 30 foot in the air or close to it. You know, maybe not 30, probably 20 feet, but that's still a long ways up, you know, to be around a bunch of trees and all that stuff, you know. But you know, you just gotta use your better judgment uh, and, and keep yourself out of trouble because ultimately you're still held responsible for these trucks and, and what happens to them. You're the driver, so you're responsible for it and that's how they see it, you know. So you, I try my best to really watch where I'm dumping and, and make sure I'm on level ground before I dump. And see, that's the thing about getting, you know, these, uh, you know, these wet loads like this is it really sucks because, you know, if he gives you a full load of real heavy, just compacted mud, and that stuff doesn't come out when you... No, well, we've got guard rail. It may work somewhere close to civilization again. Yeah, Tim Ford. Uh, but, you know, if you brace your bed and you got all that stuff packed in there and it's not coming out it could potentially turn you over could set you up you know raise the front axle off the ground you know so that's kind of why you need to really make sure you're paying attention about where you're dumping at and what you're dumping and make sure it's coming out hey, there's a guy over there in a bass boat hey, that guy over there in that bass boat's got the right idea yeah, but I'd say he's freezing his nuts back off. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's just, what, 40 degrees out there. So, you know, you just, you just got to use your better judgment. That's where experience comes in and, and driving and driving these things. You know, a lot of guys... I believe that monstrosity over there on my left on my hill. Holy crap. Uh, a lot of these guys. Oh, that was a nice house. Yeah, it was. Uh, a lot of these guys don't like to drive dump trucks, but guys, I'm telling you, where they send these things, and you know, I guess they they just think it takes no skill to drive a dump truck. When all reality, it does, because that's where most people mess up at is when they get in these dump trucks. So you really have to pay close attention to your surroundings and stuff when you dump these things. But uh, I'm going to stop the, 
video here and uh, we'll pick it back up when we get closer to the dump site. It's supposed to be three miles away according to Jim up there. It's big. Really, really big. <laughs> now that's a hole. Got a Walker 157 going to the same place. That's a load of crusher. Just chill out. It's been, there. It's been a while since I've been here. Do you need me a sonic top and put it in there or what? Yeah, find one and then put it in that slot there. What is up, guys? We are at the Home Depot. I'll slide some pictures in and show you guys. Uh, actually thinking about getting a couple of those cub cadets ain't she pretty g35 uh actually thinking about getting a couple of those cub cadets uh they're the zt 150s 50 inch cut 23 horsepower kawasaki's on them uh got somewhat of a fabricated style deck uh looks like something that would be good to start out with guys we don't want to spend you know, twenty thousand dollars on a couple mowers uh, for starting out right now. It's just not. It's not feasible to do. So, probably what we're going to end up doing is getting a couple of these. They're they're thirty. They're going to be less than thirty five hundred dollars for two brand new mowers. That's definitely going to last us a few seasons. Uh, it's not that big a deal, but. I've already been here and done this, guys. Uh, so, you know, Brian called his neighbor. Uh, you know, he he thinks you got to go out here and, and, and get this just big, massive commercial mower, and you do not have to do that, guys. You don't have to do that. I've done it. I know people that's done it that's bought, you know, residential zero turns and stuff and has killed it with mowing. Killed it. Guys, I had some old rickety piece of crap mowing these schools, a, a little cub cadet like that, and it it was freaking bossing it. I just had to replace a lot of deck uh, spindles in the deck, uh, you know. They and the spindles were like fifty dollars, sixty dollars a piece. So who cares, you know? Uh, for the amount of mowing that the mower gave me, uh, you know, it wasn't that bad. I just had it kept an extra one. If it went out, it literally took me you know 20 30 minutes to replace it so it wasn't really that big a deal uh you know so that's going to be it for today guys that's what we got going on uh, i'll do a quick little walk around of the mower uh i might go back in here real quick and do a quick little walk around of the mower and and let you guys see it and see what you think yeah not too bad got some headlights on it 3199. I mean, hell, that almost looks like a Ferris deck. And insert hate comments below. It's got like a reinforced edge on it. Not too bad. 23 horsepower caller. Plenty of horsepower for that. It's got some kind of, you know, janky rollover bar on it. Might have John extend that out. But decent sized tires. They're not super wide. That's my hand on it right there. So, probably eight inches wide or so. I think it would work. So, I really do think it'll work. Like I said, it's not that, it's not that big a deal, you know. That, that mower probably lasts a good while. You're probably gonna have problems out of, 
spindles. I looked underneath of it. It looked like all the spindles, you know, it had those old rickety cast aluminum spindles, you know. They got the little four, like four ears on it, and they always never failed broke around those ears. Uh, that seems like where they would always break, but, uh, you know, just from vibration, uh, imbalanced blades probably had a lot to do with it because I, I sharpened the shit out of my blades and I just, you know, I really didn't keep them too balanced. So you could definitely feel a lot of vibration when I turned the, turned the blades on, on that old Cub Cadet. Uh, so anyways, I dropped my key, but anyways, um, so yeah, guys, that's, that's probably what we're going to end up doing. So the goal is, is to have two of those and a brand spanking new trailer. Uh, if we could do that, I still got two steel trimmers from, you know, the old lawn care days. I still have my, uh, oh, forgot the <laughs> B, uh, PB 500, I think is what it is. Uh, echo backpack blower and, uh. You know, we're going to have uh, probably a couple little handhelds or a handheld. It don't matter. I mean, shit, guys. You're, uh, you know, you're having a pissing contest with, uh, you know, equipment at that point. So, so yeah, guys, that's that's it for today. Uh, it was, you know, we had a good long day of work. It, it was actually, uh, uh, you know, it was actually dark when I went into work, and it's dark now, which is not that late. It's like 6.30. But anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Comment, rate, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.